from WNY News. This is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. What a day today across the Twin Tiers. Certainly nice to see the sunny skies. Temperatures in the comfortable range, a little below average. It felt kind of like fall across our area, but in the coming days, we'll see a significant warming trend. The humidity will start to creep back up, but even though the humidity will be on the rise through the holiday weekend, uh, it will stay on the dry side. So if you have any picnics or barbecues, planning on doing some hiking, swimming, anything outdoors, you'll be good to go Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Even most of this upcoming week uh, looks to be dry. It won't be until late in the week that we have the potential for a couple showers passing through. So it's nice to get a little reprieve from the rainfall that we picked up in this month of August uh, for the monthly total. Just over six and a quarter inches at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport, and that's almost three inches above average. So we certainly had uh, instances of some localized downpours coming through with some of those showers and thunderstorms and obviously resulting in some localized flash flooding as well. But the nature of those thunderstorms is just that not everyone gets excessive rainfall, but there were certainly rounds of moderate to heavy rainfall in several instances uh, throughout the month of August. Look at our forecast though moving forward through the weekend. First half of next week, a 10% or less chance for rain each day, and we only bump it up to a 20% chance on Thursday as there's going to be a frontal boundary trying to push in from the west. So bottom line here is we have a nice stretch of dry weather in the coming days, but uh, it's going to get awfully hot here next couple days still in the comfortable range, but uh, we could be looking at a potential heat wave going into next week. Big area of high pressure and control extends all the way back over the Midwest, so hardly a cloud in the sky here. And uh, we're going to keep it clear through the overnight period. Dense fog forms after midnight, reduced visibilities for the morning commute. And temperatures, hey, that's a big deal, down in the low and mid 40s. So some of the coolest re readings that we've seen since last uh, June, early June. So it's been a while since we've gotten that low can't even completely rule out an upper 30 here or there in the colder pockets, but I think most between 40 and 45 by early tomorrow morning. Upper 60s, Tioga and Mansfield 69 in Wellsboro, 70 in Elmira and 69 in Bath. Our planner for tomorrow showing some early fog, chilly temperatures, but plenty of sunshine going through the afternoon and temperatures right where they should be for this time of year with a five degree guarantee of 78. But I did mention a warming trend through the holiday weekend, 83 on Saturday, 88 on Sunday and by Labor Day itself on Monday, 90 degrees is what we're forecasting and we could potentially be looking at a heat wave three consecutive 90 degree days and that would occur Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, even next Thursday, 89. So we could make that perhaps four days in a row. So uh, we're looking at uh, temperatures well above average for next week. Today we forecast 72 and that was the unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 43 tonight, so maybe a sweatshirt or a light jacket stepping out. A northwesterly breeze 5 to 10 miles an hour. Pleasant conditions tomorrow, sunshine and 78. 83 on Saturday. We continue that warming trend into early next week with conditions remaining dry.